welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Tuesday, the 28th Ooh. of May 2019. We are using the Connolly Tarot or the Tarot of the Cut Corners or the Tarot of the Stained Glass, etc. Okay, that's nice. How are you doing today? Leave me a comment, let me know. Oh, that one's got a nice round corner. <laughs> I'm very attached to these cards, even though they have got all these sharp edges, but they do hurt when I shuffle. <laughs> sort of do it like that. Okay. We've had that one before. This is quite mixed, but I quite like it. We had the Ten of Pentacles the other day in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles is a card where it always has everybody in it. It has the dog, the mum, the dad. You know, it's nuclear family stuff with lots of generations and it's very secure and it's very white picket fence and this is how it should be. And it's nice, obviously. I'm not trying to diss the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but it's not the vibe we're in at the moment. We're in much more of a formulaic vibe. <clears throat> ten of Pentacles, being a ten, is more of a sense of completion. Such as a grandparent would feel you know, and he is the prominent one in this card, looking over the generations of kind of what he has produced, I suppose. When you get that card in reverse, it's the energy of what I call running away with the circus. It's the, um, it's not just throwing caution to the wind, but it's definitely not the time to be shoring up security. It's the time to be examining different ways. And this is a very Capricorn energy. It's probably taking us, that's my taking us up, mine, taking us up to um, the 16th of July, I think, which is the Capricorn eclipse. There is a sense in which there is money kind of knocking around. Got the Six of Pentacles, that's money knocking around card. There is money, you know, look at the hustle and the bustle of the crowd. If you're in business, yes, there's money around to be had, but it's the ways of creatively lining up with it. And it's kind of saving versus testing. Saving versus risk. We've got the world in reverse, which is the end of a cycle. And that cycle is a cycle in which you felt you had security. And of course, the real kicker in life is that you never do. You know, life is um, panta ray, isn't it? Everything changes. Heraclitus, you never step into the same river twice. But we always want to <laughs> because we're human and we're creatures of habit. And, you know, life is kind of precarious and... I suppose if we lived in the reality of things as they are, you know, in the reality of what actual flux we live in and how you never know what's going to happen one moment to the next, one day to the next. Exciting though that is, if we constantly lived in it as we should in the now, that's quite, uh, it's quite difficult to sustain. I don't know if you've ever tried it, you know, when you get all excited and spiritual and you say to yourself, I'm going to live in the now, I'm going to live in the present, you know, and you stride about for a few hours, living in the present, feeling all exhilarated, and then it kind of slips, doesn't it? Because we are creatures that can predict, and we do, it makes us feel secure. But that predictability, or that ability to predict, actually, if we're going to unpack that word, doesn't do us a lot of favours here. And we're being required to kind of split ourselves. We have the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of the Velvet Waiting, as we know her at the moment. But she's also holding on to a tidy pentacle at the same time. 
very wise, you know. If you're going to be a queen and you're going to... It's the only blonde queen of pentacles I've ever seen, actually. It's quite strange. If you're going to be waiting, if you're going to be on the throne for a while with your nice flowers and your pear and your bunch of grapes, she always has her bunch of grapes, she's got a snack, you know, she's all tooled up for it. Keep hold of a pentacle, yes. But at the same time, remember, everything is in flux. Money is coming into you. Six of pentacles, my little bag of cash card. And this is money that comes to you. Sometimes it's unexpected. Sometimes it's unearned, which has to be the best money ever, doesn't it? <laughs> earned money, overrated, unearned money. Yeehaw! I mean, it's the tax rebate, it's the um, little windfall that you weren't expecting. It's nice, you know, let's not knock it. But also in a business term, if you are trying to generate cash, business or earthly things, they're around you to be had. And that's kind of all you need to feel to a certain extent. Yes, keep money in the account. Yes, keep hold of a pentacle but don't make it all the pentacles. Security is not everything in this. Experimentation comes into it. Because we have the two of pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, that constant juggle with infinity, but juggling with earthly things such as pentacles. It is my side hustle card. It is my card I get when somebody is experimenting with how to earn or keep money or somebody is juggling an idea or juggling two things at once, a real job and a day job, but the day, the, sorry, a real job and a side hustle, but the side hustle may be creeping into the day job and you're furiously kind of juggling. But actually that means that it's a good idea and there's money out there to be had and there's success out there to be had. Then you get the Page of Wands as well, which is a rush of young thinking. It's a rush of that kind of thinking you get when you're in your teens. It's sort of invincible thinking. It's um, feeling powerful, feeling hopeful, feeling optimistic, young thinking. I like it. Don't kick it out of bed for eating crisps. Ten of Pentacles is old thinking. Ten of Pentacles is settling. Nicely settling, not settling for second best. It's being settled. I can sit here now. Here I am with my stick and my dog and it's all here. No, not this energy. OK, so it's the energy of jumping pentacles. Money is around. Juggling ideas and creativity and all kinds of other things like that. Then we have the three of swords in reverse. Three of swords for me in this instance is... Self-limiting beliefs about money and about how it's earned and about how your family earned it. Triangulation. Is that a triangle? <laughs> Triangulation. We also get the star in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. Whoa! Star and hierophant in reverse is wanting to be orthodox. Wanting to follow what is orthodox. And to be honest, the universe is kind of encouraging you not to. Underneath that, I've got the three of pentacles. The apprentice. This can also indicate taking, starting or doing a job or business, which is, I suppose, on paper beneath your qualification level. But at the same time as an apprentice really has some growth in it, has real potential. So don't be put off if the role seems too junior. Or if you're running your own business, don't be put off if that particular client seems too small or not um, a big enough account to be creative with, okay? Your oracle card is flexible. Yes, absolutely. And this is about, I always think of the tree bending scenario like you do, that the silver birch or the willow or whatever it is, those skinny trees that you see, survive the storm because they learn how to bend to the wind. And the big oak tree you find split in two halves and you think, how could that even happen? Okay, 
Not that there's anything wrong with big oak trees because I love them. But in certain situations, and this is one of them, you need that bendy sap, you know, that kind of um, teenage energy, teenage energy. We get divine timing and we get children. And I feel like some childlike innocence and that kind of feeling of invincibility that you have when you're a child is required here. I suppose you could call it naive bravery when it comes to business and finance and building and juggling. And yes, at the same time, don't keep your eye off the original pentacle. But original pentacles, money itself is an energy. It's not designed just to be locked away and never touched. Not that I'm telling you not to save, obviously, but there is an energy in money, is what this whole reading is saying. It's trying to jump about like a jumping bean. See if you can tap into that energy, okay? So do subscribe to the channel, do leave me a comment and I'll see you soon. Namaste.